Hey guys, it's me once again. I'm back for another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy review, and now we're gonna take a look at the super posable Indoraptor for 13,000 subscribers. I got this at Best Buy for exactly $20. Well, I was originally gonna get the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom DVD, but I was gonna go wait for that one again. Because again, why would they pay $18 for DVDs? I swear I don't understand that. Anyway. So, I got this as an exception, or I was originally going to get the Pteranodon, once again, didn't get it, but whatever. I got this instead, because I wasn't going to hold back on it, and I decided to get this over the Grab and Growl Indoraptor, because again, I think it's best to get a cheaper one instead of getting one that's more expensive. And without further ado, let's get on with the package first, right on the side. So as usual, we got the cracked up Jurassic World logo with this cage setting, Owen and Raptor Blue, okay, that light, okay, there we go. Owen and Raptor Blue, Endoraptor, now with a blue, rainy, forest set, instead of a volcanic eruption. As we already know, this is the Lockwood Manor background, I guess. And flipping over side to side, we have the Jurassic World logo being shown. And at the back, we have the Endoraptor in action, movie authentic posability. And of course, we have the production photo right there. And we have the other two figures you can get, the storyline packs. You got Owen and Raptor Blue, which we don't have yet. And uh, Claire and the Gyrosphere, which we already reviewed, so you can check that out. And, mm, oh yeah, right, that fax app thing right there. Anyways, enough of the package. Already got through that, so now let's get on with this amazing figure. So, we're going to go start with the head sculpt. Now, I know the Endoraptor looks like this, and it looks pretty great. I know there's only one issue with the teeth, but that doesn't matter. And the seam line over here, but that don't matter either. I mean... I think my uh, issue I have with the head mostly is basically how the head is structured. I mean, from here, I guess, it looks okay, but um, I don't know. From here, it doesn't look exactly too much like the Endoraptor. I mean, it's an Endoraptor toy, but I think the Grab and Growl Endoraptor has the better head sculpt, as I've seen and looked up on close-ups. Yeah, the Grab and Growl Endoraptor has the bad head and best head sculpt. It's completely better. Anyways, I needed to get up to a close-up to see the Endoraptor's head because the lighting couldn't catch the uh, paint of its eye, which is red instead of, well, the usual orange, but whatever. The Grab and Growl Endoraptor has a light-up eye that's much brighty, uh, brighter. Sorry, I don't know how to speak. <laughs> anyway, so, again, so we got detailing everywhere on the head. It looks completely great. The glossy uh, paint does reflect a little, and it does give out that shine, and that's what's awesome. You got this gold... Uh, stream going and that's exactly how it looked in the movie and you got the detailing around here the autofocus will pick it up yeah and he's got the posability and everywhere I'm not gonna go over the posability if everybody already went through that you can do anything you can do a lot of poses with this and it's even got the detail here these uh feathers or spikes as they call and they're uh, rubbery as well so that's a nice little touch and you also got the tail here, which is a cream, which is uh, like, and it's three separate pieces. Like this one is for, well, putting it together, and this one is just for turning, like the articulation point. And that's actually pretty neat as well as uh, far as, as the posability could go. And the same side, it's basically the same amount of detail. Pretty great. Yeah, pretty great. Now it's time for size comparisons. So we got Raptor Blue and Owen right next to the Endoraptor, pretty much looking right on scale. And here he is right next to the Roarvorus Baryonyx, which was reviewed by my little brother, if you want to check it out in the link up on the top. And of course, this is a Roarvor carnivore, so it's about the same size as the uh, Ceratosaurus that we reviewed. And here is the Endoraptor scale right next to the uh, Extreme Shopping Tyrannosaurus, a repainted version, like I said before. And of course, like, they're both $20, but at the same time, the thing is, though, is that the Endoraptor is a bit smaller than this T-Rex. They're almost on the scale, but not necessarily. You can tell the Endoraptor is a tad bit shorter, I guess. I don't know, almost the same length, <laughs> but they look pretty much like they don't really scale up well if you wanted to scale up to Rexy, which is the Thrash and Throw Rex. And, of course, or either that or you might want to go scale with the bigger Tyrannosaurus, which is the Colossal T-Rex. Yeah, that's the size right there. Okay, so that's pretty much going to be doing this review. I'm going to end it off here with the mercenary getting his arm eaten off by the Endoraptor. Sure, I don't have Ken Weekly yet, but whatever. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
this is pretty much already a great figure, even though despite me recommending the uh, Grab and Growl in the Rather more by its head sculpt, but I, but I understand that that's different and this is uh, the earlier version. But yet again, this is a pretty cool figure, obviously. And um, yeah, I have nothing else much to say. So thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for 13,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys later.